Okay, this workout is a solo MMA ground technique workout for experienced practitioners. So it's going to focus on you know, all elements of groundwork in MMA, so including both grappling and striking, but all on the ground, or at least going from the transition from the standing position to the ground and then work on the ground. In terms of equipment, uh, you're going to need floor space and mats. Definitely want mats for this one. Um, you also need a heavy bag of some type, either a freestanding heavy bag that you can lay down on the ground or a hanging heavy bag that you can take down and lay on the ground for ground striking purposes. In terms of format, you're going to have nine three-minute rounds inclusive of a uh, three-minute warm-up round. And again, we're going to focus on all aspects of ground striking, ground grappling, including you know, submissions, escapes, the guard, you know, passing, etc., and striking from all positions. So enjoy the workout. All right, warm up Tai Chi complex, feet wide, back straight, squat down, fingers across the ground and come up to this position, exhale as you push out and squat down, touch the ground, back to this position, push out to the sides and squat, exhale. Fingers across the ground, and push up to the ceiling squat. Touch the ground, lunge to one side, exhale. Back to the middle, lunge to the other side, and exhale. As you come up, start over, push out, out to the sides, to the ceiling. Lunge, other side, back to the middle, straight in front. to the sides, to the ceiling, lunge, side okay for this shadow fighting drill we have ground grappling fundamental movements so you can start for example with forwards and backwards rolls you can go into shrimp all right you can do reverse judo shrimp you can go for bridging and rolling or over bridge for example under bridge all right, we're going to keep doing all those fundamental basic movements for the duration of the drill.
All right, this heavy bag bill drill is uh, ground striking from all ground positions. So um, you can start, for example, you need a heavy bag laying on the ground. Start, for example, inside the guard, right? You can throw various strikes from this position, right? Then you can get good posture, stand up, come to the you know, stomach, throw various strikes, transition to side control, etc. Keep transitioning through all different control positions and other ground positions and striking the bag with various strikes for the entire time period. Coming up. This shadow fighting drill is all ground grappling technique. So you're gonna start on the ground and stay on the ground and you're gonna work all your techniques from here. So usually the best way to do this in limited time frame is you start from a, uh, a uh, disadvantaged position, you know, under a pin, focus on an escape, then maybe go for a guard pass, and maybe from here go for a submission. Right? And then start from a prone position again, from a disadvantaged position. Keep cycling, cycling through all your techniques, work in sequences. That's the drill coming up.
Okay, this heavy bag drill is MMA ground only. So you need a heavy bag on the ground, either freestanding or take down your hanging heavy bag. And we're gonna work both striking and grappling techniques on the heavy bag for the entire round. All right, so you can think about various positions, right? Strikes that you might be able to throw from those positions, passing techniques or a variety of grappling techniques. Um, you're pretty limited in terms of what you can do with a bag on, on uh, in grappling, from a grappling perspective. So for any technique that you can't really do on the bag, you can also do as shadow fighting on the side on, on your floor space. But include both grappling and striking for the duration of the round, all on the ground. Okay, this heavy bag drill is double leg takedown and ground striking combo. So you need your, your, your standing heavy bag, start from moving around the bag, throw an entry strike, execute a double leg takedown on your bag, and immediately throw a ground striking combination. All right, as soon as you're done, stand the bag back up, and then go on the other side. Same thing. Double leg, ground striking combo. All right. You're just going to continue doing that for the entire round.
All right, this heavy bag drill is sprawl, strike, spin, submission. So you need a heavy bag, you need to lay on the ground. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with a sprawl onto the bag, strike, strike, spin, get a control position, go for a submission, all right? Any combination you want, but anytime you get that submission, you're gonna stand back up and go again, etc. Keep going for the entire time period. Okay, the shadow fighting drill is slap out and MMA attack directly from the ground. All right, so for example, you're gonna start your fighting stance, moving around and slap out as if you got knocked down or taken down immediately, counter attack from the ground. So that could, that means you're not necessarily staying back up, but you may go directly for an attack from the ground, all right, and surprise your opponent instead of standing back all the way back up. All right, so both, when you counter attack, use both um, striking and grappling, uh, but it's slap out and MMA counterattack directly from the ground. Coming up.
this heavy bag drill is MMA ground only. So you need a heavy bag on the ground, either freestanding or take down your hanging heavy bag. And we're gonna work both striking and grappling techniques on the heavy bag for the entire round. All right, so you can think about various positions, all right? Strikes that you might be able to throw from those positions, passing techniques or a variety of grappling techniques. Um, you're pretty limited in terms of what you can do with a bag on, on uh, in grappling, from a grappling perspective. So for any technique that you can't really do on the bag, you can also do as shadow fighting on the side and your floor space. But include both grappling and striking for the duration of the round, all on the ground. Okay, now that we've completed the workout, I'd strongly recommend that you do some post-workout stretching. Um, so you can either do that either on your own um, with the stretching techniques that you know, or you can use the post-workout stretch complex um, video that we have in our video library um, on the channel. So take a look at that. It's about 10 minutes long. I strongly recommend you do that. Hope you enjoyed the workout. If you found this video useful and you want to see more, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. We upload videos at least once a week. Thanks for watching.